Well, the 85 is finally near completion. The uh, compound stage is done. All I gotta do is the final touches. Oh, you gotta love that. Anybody who is interested, 3 8 wrench for this. Anybody's out there curious about that. Um, yeah, so I figured I'll give you a walk around of this. Um, the car is done. All I have to do now is put on my chrome trim and uh, it is done. You really see yourself in it on the side, but it's just the, the roof, the trunk lid, and the hood. Like it, it looks good when you're close, everything is nice and flat. You can look at the camera, right, and everything's nice and flat, but once you get further away, it's, it starts to get distorted. If you look at the clouds, it's it's kind of like a like a shadow effect. If you come over here to the roof, you take a look at the house, or even focus in on the TV aerial. Notice that it's it's not all that crystal perfect, right? Crystal clear. It's it's got a little bit of a distortion in it. It's got that orange peel effect. So. My, uh, my theory is it's just the texture of the steel because I wet sanded and I wet sanded and let me tell you, you couldn't get it any more perfect. Basic walk around, like you, there's definitely a shine to her. More of a shine now than before. The wet sanding and the compound definitely helped this car tremendously. 90% uh, better than what it was. So if all goes good, this car will be on the road next month. You can see here, you can read what the camera, the make and the model of the camera, basically. It rained here not too long ago, so there's water spots on it, unfortunately. You can even read the brand name of my cigarette, I bet, in that. Anyway. I'm happy with it. All I have to do is start uh, prepping the blue car, which will be very, very, very soon. Picture perfect. And there's no wax on this car yet. So it'll, it'll look better once there is a coat of wax on it. Feels just like glass too. You rub your hand on that, it's just so smooth. Just like a brand new car. One problem though, if you take a look back here. Yeah, we got scratches. We got a nice big one there, a little one there. Minor one there and a big hideous one along here. If you're thinking to yourself, well, what the hell caused that? Take a look at my roof. Yeah. If you haven't clued in yet or figured it out, the shingles are so bad on my roof that they're blowing off the roof. And um, one morning I came outside and they're asphalt shingles. I came outside and there were about two or three of them on the trunk lid. It was after a windstorm, there's, you couldn't help it, right? It happens. So that's another thing on my list this year. I say I didn't do too bad. You know, the, the finish, in my opinion, is absolutely picture perfect. You know, there's uh, no orange peel at all. Um, I don't even know if you want to call this orange peel. I wet sanded all the orange peel out of it, but you still got a little bit of a waviness to it. Um, 
my opinion, that's just the texture of the steel. Maybe somebody with experience wants to enlighten me. But, you look here, okay, picture perfect. Uh, let's say, for example, now, I'll take this lighter, okay, and I'll focus in on the paint, all right. You can see the lettering. Oop, that's a bad example. Let me see if I can find something else for you. Uh, we'll use this 3 8 wrench, okay? So, if I can focus the camera in enough, you can actually read 3 8 on the wrench. And this, and you're looking at it from the paint, okay? Um, Mastercraft. <laughs> you know, you can actually read this in the paint. And not many cars, you can't look at many vehicles, even new ones today, you can't look in many vehicles paint and be able to read that. You know, all vehicles have orange peel. Even brand new ones right from factory. Okay. But not many are like this. This is perfection, in my opinion. Okay. Say for another example take my hat okay like see right here it looks pretty darn good right you can see the wolf on the peak of my hat right pretty clear except for that scratch which really sucks nothing much I can do with it I tried compounding it out it won't come out so I'll just have to live with it um, but you can see it in the paint okay and that's exactly what I was trying to aim for but if you notice right back here, you can notice that if you look at the camera or even myself, it's, it's got a wavy texture to it. Up close, different story. Everything straightens out. Further away, see, everything's kind of distorted. It's got that orange peel effect. Zoom right in, everything's smooth again. So I'm guessing that it's just the texture of the steel, you know. I imagine back in 1985 this car didn't look all that great even when it came off the factory floor, so. Still got to order a new mirror yet. That'll be another thing to do. Everything just looks picture perfect. And to me, in my opinion, this is perfect. This is perfection. You know, I don't have much experience in this. Um, I'm a learner when it comes to this, but you know what? I've, I've learned a lot in this process. I've spent a little extra money than what I should have had to, but you know what? It was worth it. I know more now than what I did back then. And that's the whole fun of it all, is that you learn stuff. You know, you learn what you can do and what you can't do. You know. When I come from the mechanical part of vehicles, like uh, rebuilding engines and all that, mechanical problems and repairs, right? And then when you go over to the body portion of it, um, like auto body refinishing and painting and all that, it's a totally different ball game to me. But you know what, I've learned a lot, and uh, in my opinion, this looks pretty damn good. A lot of people might say otherwise, but you know what? How many 27-year-old cars have this good of a paint quality on? Not many. How many 27-year-old cars are still on the road? Not many. Gotta love the Chevy. You know. In my opinion, this is perfect. Nice and clear here. And it kind of gets a little bit fuzzy. Don't know why. I imagine this is the texture of the steel. Anyway. So I gotta get my chrome back on. I think it looks pretty darn good.
you know. How many auto paint jobs can you take your hat or a newspaper and actually read it in the car's paint? Not many. So I say I've done pretty darn good. You can even look at that car that was just traveling down the road. You can see the cat, you know. I say I did a pretty darn good job with this watch here. Now, did you tell guys tell what kind of car that was just by looking at that car and looking at my paint job? It was a Honda Civic. And you could actually see that car traveling down the road through the car's paint. You're looking at the paint and you could actually see the reflection. And that's exactly what I was aiming for. And in my opinion, this is perfection. little bit of a divot here like there's little dings right this is where the uh, uh, molding was see if I would have used filler primer I imagine a lot of this would have been masked away but I didn't use filler primer everybody told me I should have but I never probably would have turned out ten times as better if I would have but yeah I think it looks pretty darn good just the way it is a little dirty in behind here yet I gotta wash this I didn't do anything back here. This has been painted and clear coated, but uh, like I say, I'm not going to fuss about all this. Um, you know, and it, it's clean, it's shiny once I clean it. <laughs> you know, but anyway. I'm happy with it. That's all that matters. Can't wait to drive this old girl again. All I got to do is put the mirror back on, get some tires on it, and that's it. I did an oil change to it already this afternoon. This thing is ready to go. I was looking up the history of this car um, when I parked it. I parked this thing, did an oil change October 24, 2010, and I parked it November 1, 2010. This car hasn't moved since then. November 1st was the last day. So, you can tell I'm definitely eager to get going with this car again. I, I miss driving them. You know, hasn't moved since 2010. I just want to get in it and drive it. I have the engine running a lot better now. It's so ready to hit the highway. But, take it day by day. One day at a time. wax on it. Showroom quality. In my opinion anyway. Anyway guys, I know I'm wasting a lot of your time, so imagine a lot of you didn't even watch this video all the way through, but I'm sorry, you know, I thought I'd uh, give, because uh, I know there's a lot of car subscribers that absolutely love this car, and my Buick, and everything else I own, so I thought maybe you guys would enjoy this. So give me a few more weeks, there'll be a new video posted, with all the chrome and all the little small little pieces back on the car. I already got the hood ornament on. You know. But, I'll keep you guys updated. And we'll see you right back here next weekend. Take care of yourselves.